and welcome or welcome back to another show vlog. We are just on our little pre-show hack. I do this always the day before a show. So that's what we're doing at the minute. It's really warm, but the sun's not out. But uh, yes, we are off to our fun. Oh, don't snack. Come on. You're already on a diet. Yeah, we're off to our last riding club um, qualifier show tomorrow. It's the points one, and then it's, I think I've explained it in a vlog before, the highest points holder in each of the class qualifies for stars, which is a big riding club showing championship. I've been ill this past week. Not COVID, I've just had the very common cold, and it's knocked me about, really, so I'm a bit like... <gasps> uh. Anyway, and that's irrelevant. I didn't get out of bed till, like, half nine this morning, but it's fine, because she's living out. So we're just on a ride now, um, which I explained, and then I'm going to bath her and actually leave her in tonight because she's not been sleeping very well out in the field, bless her. So yeah, I'm going to come back this afternoon and bath her, wash all her mane and tail and put her to bed. She can stay in and then I'll be up in the morning to clean my saddle because I've already done my bridle because I'm organised and just pack the trailer and go. And I'm a little bit nervous, I won't lie, because... Although it's not been terribly difficult to qualify for on the basis that shows have been quite um, quiet, there's not been loads of people, going to Stars, which is held at Aintree Racecourse, is like a venue that's been on my bucket list for years. And I just know she's going to absolutely love it. She loves the evening performance stuff, the music, the people. So she's going to love it. And I just want to get her there. I don't mind if we're the only one in the class and we qualify, I will still be buzzing. There's one other girl that won one show, so she's got six points. Um, this this show tomorrow is double points, so obviously she'd then get another 12. So in order to beat her, I'd need to be at least top three, and I'll get more points. That's if she turns up. If she doesn't turn up, then I'm just going to be buzzing, because we're after stars. But anyway, don't get ahead of myself. That's tomorrow. So I am a little bit nervous, but I'm also really excited. Um, Claire is coming with us again because I haven't done my training test. And um, yeah, that's the plan. So we're going to enjoy our ride and we'll speak to you later. This one is supposed to be on a diet. Oi, fatty. Grazing your way around the hack. Hack and snack. Hey. Waking up, feeling the taste of our fight last night. Um, oh, I use, let me get it. Let me show you. Oh, so I use, oh, light. This, I'm pretty sure you probably would have seen it on Tina's uh, YouTube. It's meant to be for cars. Um, and then what I do is I fill the cup that comes with it and it slots in there. I fill it with a bit of baby shampoo, which is fine to use in the summer if you're washing it off. Um, and because I'm putting it in here and then I'm washing it and then I'm rinsing it off, it's fine. But it does leave her really shiny. And then because of allergies, I tend to mainly just use baby shampoo. I do have, I do have this NAF one, which I got, I think I won it at a show. And I'm pretty sure it's for greys, but it just says for ultra clean horses and she didn't react to it, so I use it. Uh, oh no, to make your black horse blacker, your white horse whiter, and everything in between. Cool. 
so I use that and that's all we've done I've washed her mane and tail which a lot of people don't wash manes when they plait them but I don't like it when you plait and then you end up with the dirty crease so I've done that so I'm gonna dry her off now and then even though it's a glorious day I am probably gonna leave her in tonight because she's just not she's not sleeping well living out and she's been tired the past couple of days and I don't want her tired tomorrow so she can she can stay in right catch up with you in a minute I'm gonna let her stand stand there and dry while I get her stable ready for tonight uh because it's a mess and I have a random bunch of flowers in my water bucket um Brad's got a grass livery that was that's over the road and um her horse had an abscess but she wasn't too sure about what she was doing so she knew she needed a stable came over and just asked my help basically I mean madam has had a few so she just didn't really know how to poultice so I was helping her out and bless her heart she got me the most beautiful flowers because it's gone back now to the side of the road but look how gorgeous they are so I don't really um know what to do with them at the moment because once I finished here I am going to go to the golf club and have a drink with Brad and Claire because they've been playing golf this afternoon so I'm gonna have to find some water for them anyway digress stable and now that you're gone I'm thinking about all is my socks and trainers are soaked but my jumpers aren't and i sort of forgot i had them on derby house sent me their new water resistant sparkle breeches i'll show them in a minute um but they're water resistant and my legs are dry yes finally a pair of jumpers that actually do what it says on the tin so i'll show you them because i love And they've got sparkle here and here and they're sticky bum but they're they're like they I don't know if you can hear that but like they sound funny they are water resistant but they're thin um I rode them in the rain the other day and had dry legs and I thought oh that's cool but I've actually bathed and got completely soaked my socks and trainers are absolutely dripping um but I'm not and I'm not cold so yeah they were gifted to me and I hadn't said anything until I literally was mucking out and realised that I was dry. So I'll only rave really about things I like and these have worked. So here I am raving about them. Um, I'll leave a link below because they are quite cool. So that's Madam in bed, hey? Look how shiny you are. Just don't lay in your own poo or do anything stupid, but do get a good night's sleep because I don't want you tired tomorrow, okay? Okay, good night, say bye. Bye. Ooh, morning. Someone's having their breakfast. Need a little bit of a wipe over, but we're clean. So I'll get you some hay and we'll get you platted. Morning. I realise I haven't actually spoken to you yet this morning. Um, I just, I'm very aware that I don't want to make these vlogs uh, all the same, like the show vlogs, because they can be quite samey samey mm. so i just packed this morning bub is there she just finished some hay and i'm gonna plait her next but i'll spin you around and because yeah i feel flustered today um i think i'm a bit nervous i'm just so like desperate to get her to stars um but yeah i need to remember not to put too much pressure on myself 
and then we'll be okay. But yeah, I feel a bit hot and flustered. So we've got everything, I think. Pad, saddle, bridle is back there. A little medical kit I just have. Uh, my cane is there. Treats, which is important. Stuff to wash her off. I just need to pack one more wash bucket. Uh, yeah, and then that's done. Front's locked. But yes. Hey, we'll go around and then look. I can't get these off. This is Brad's handprints, and it's just oh nightmare. Um, but yeah, we've got everything. I think. Um, all my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip Chip, chip, nah, chip, chip, chip. Oh, flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces, we don't care. Oh, plotted. Hello, pretty. They're okay. This bit of our mane needs to really grow. Oh, they're good. Happy? No, I'm eating. Are you going to say hi? No. No? Well, we've arrived. Claire Bear's here. Uh, it's quite busy, actually, so that's good. You're happy, aren't you? Are you happy to wait? Making a mess. Just bought some shine spray, because you've bit grubby there. It's not very good. Good old Gallop and Glory coming through. Just use this. Got it from a box. Cow shiny. What are you doing? You've got a helmet. Why are you... <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?
<laughs> you do it because I can't do it. <laughs> Daddy! She's better though, she's gone on. Breathing, she's lost she's lost some weight. I love it. 30 years old and I can't do my anger. Thanks, Claire. Hi guys, so I thought I would voice over this because I guess it's kind of educational but this is the go round of the veteran class and you can see I am having to push almost she is quite good at trying to go backwards when she's a bit flustered and not happy she'd rather stop and refuse to do anything um, that transition wasn't awful but it wasn't the best veterans but we literally hadn't even trotted a whole circle. Um, she was okay here. She's a bit flat. Um, but yeah, not much to say. She just wasn't herself. But I kind of knew it was because we'd gone in and gone straight into it. Do, 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 do. What am I doing with my arms? All oh, collapsed back into drop. And then we changed the rain. just not wanting to work with me really she was all a bit too busy busy being a bit flustered um, but this is our second canter as you can see um, and by the time I get round to here I hadn't realized that she'd asked everyone to go back to walk so that's how little amount of canter we did on the next rain so I noticed now they were walking and she was lining them back up and then she shouted at me here and said, come on in and do your individual. So I carried on trotting to get there quicker, I guess. Then realised I needed to let her chill. So I walked her. And that's us going straight into our individual. So she wasn't a happy bunny and it made me feel a bit flustered too. Oh, that's not even a square hole, is it? Oh dear. This is the first time I've watched this. She didn't ask us anything about them either. Normally the veterans, they'll ask what their history is and what they've done. She was a very sweet lady though. She was very nice. So I always do a few strides of walk. And she was being a bit twitchy here. She thought we were going straight into Canton and then she was trot and then she was just a bit... I mean, she looks fine, doesn't she? But feeling and riding it, she was all a bit iffy and twitchy and not happy. Not a happy bunny. Bad transition. It doesn't look terrible, but quite deservedly it wasn't a winning individual. That's another collapse. Oh god. I need to go home and do some homework. That was better. This is her better rain anyway. And then I got flustered here because I was like, oh, I don't really know where to do my last bit of walk. So I kind of winged it and made it up as I went along. At least it was a sort of square halt. Oh dear, I'm glad that's over. So yeah, the go round and my individual, the clip on my phone, the whole total thing is 4 minutes and 11 seconds. 
so considering a go round is normally about five minutes on its own it was all done rather quick but I'll hold my hands up and say I did not ride very well today um, I think the nerves got the better of me I'm probably not as fit as I should be but hey be happy Hello, change of scenery. We're just gonna uh, really badly skip to now Monday. Um, we're home, obviously. We got home last night, in fact, and then we watched the football and I've gone to edit and realized that my intro was bad. Uh, not intro, outro was bad. It rushed and I was all like in the moment. Blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd best come on here and talk to you this morning. I'm just getting Dubs in because she has the farrier. But yes, yesterday, like, chuffed to bits with the result um and i'm 99 percent sure we've qualified for stars but i just don't want to say anything because i'm scared i'll jinx it or something will go wrong or i've added up wrong or i just i don't know i just i'm scared to say anything um oh to get my head collar but uh morning um yeah basically the class was really quick like we were in walk trot canter on change rain canter and then I barely did half side of the arena and the other canter and she pulled us all in and then she pulled Dublin in to do her individual first and she doesn't like to be rushed <laughs> do you she just doesn't like to be rushed so she felt really flustered and she was really reactive to any time my leg touched her um our transitions she just sort of hollowed into the canters collapsed back into her trot um it basically, it was bad. And I'll hold my hands up and say it was bad. But, you know, there was three of us in the class. She was second still. Um, it was double points yesterday. So I'm just sort of waiting to find out. But yeah, it just reiterates that I know she does not like to be rushed. But hey, we know. Um, I've still got homework I want to do. I'm still working on her fitness. Our next show is Equifest. Um, so I've got like a month think yeah to just really up her fitness when the hayfield gets cut i'm i'm gonna do some like interval work out there um because it's a nice field it's got a hill on one side so you can go all the way around and do some interval training try and do some more schooling and just yeah really crack on i'm gonna take eggfest quite seriously in terms of how i want her to be so that is the plan so thank you so much for watching she says subscribe because we've got lots going on that's not how she sounds she doesn't sound like that really but no like subscribe comment share with your friends do whatever you gotta do and we will see you next time bye <laughs>